Hello everyone, my name is Kenny Kleewein and I work for the Matanuska Sitna Borough in the IT GIS department. Today I will be walking you through the new and improved Matsu Borough Parcel Viewer. This will be the first video in a series going over the new functionality of the Parcel Viewer. In this video, I will discuss the Home Panel and the Home Tab. With that said, let's get started. As you can see, in the new viewer, we've added a few new things right when you open it. The first being the Home Panel. You will see this docked to the left of your screen. The Home Panel will display the welcome message as well as any new information or improvements to the Parcel Viewer. You can see the, in the current message, pointing out the new measuring and drawing tools. Directly below the welcome message, you will see two icons, the first being Search, and the second being Explore. Search contains links to two different types of searches that, that are available in the Parcel Viewer. The first being Search by Address, and the second being Search by Owner Name. Explore contains a link to the I Want To menu and a link to expand the new toolbar. The new toolbar is minimized by default to maximize screen space for the map. If you want to expand the toolbar, you can either click the link under Explore, located here, or navigate to the toolbar icon located in the top right of the viewer located here. When you expand the toolbar, three new tabs will appear at the top of your screen. Home, Search, and Mapping. Under the Home tab, you will see two different groups, Navigation and Tasks. Having the new tools in these groups will give you an idea of what the new tool is used for. The first icon you will see under the Home tab is the Home Panel. This icon will open the Home Panel if you had the Home Panel minimized. To demonstrate, we're going to collapse the Home Panel by clicking on this arrow. If you hover over the arrow, it will actually give you a little explanation as far as what that button will do. Now, if I would like to expand the Home Panel, I can either click on the arrow or I can click the Home Panel button. The second icon is the Initial View. This is a very nice tool, especially if you zoomed in too far and got lost within the map. You can click the, this icon to return to the open extent of the Matsuburo Parcel Viewer. To demonstrate this, let's zoom into Palmer. Now that I'm zoomed in, I can click the initial view and this will bring me back to the extent of the Matsuburo. The third icon is the previous extent. This icon will take you back to the last extent you were looking at. To demonstrate this, since we already zoomed into Palmer, I can click the previous extent icon and it zooms me back into the previous extent I was viewing at. The fourth icon Next Extent will appear when you use the previous extent, allowing you to toggle back and forth between two different extents. Next we have the Task group of icons. The first being the Share icon. When you click on the Share icon, it will open up various options to share the extent of your map. For this example, I will click on the email to demonstrate this functionality. When you first click on Share, you will see the list of options to share – Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Google+, and email. When I click on the email, it will automatically open Outlook and a blank email with a link to the extent you are viewing. This is an easy way to share with someone what you are looking at in the viewer. When I click on the link, it will open a new tab 
and zoom into the extent I was viewing at. Let's close the email. And as you can see, I'm in the extent of Palmer again. This is the map I shared from, and this is the new extent that I clicked on from the email. Let's go ahead and close those. And close share. Second icon in the task group is the export map. Export map will allow you to export an image of the extent you are currently viewing to different image formats. When clicking on the export map icon, you will be prompted to select a image format. Image format will contain the following image, image formats. Most commonly used will probably be JPEG, TIFF, or PDF. For this example, I will click on PDF and then click on Create Image. Once it's finished processing the image, I can click View Image. And as you can see, it opens up a PDF in a separate tab through Google Chrome, and I have the option to save or print directly. The last icon under the task group is the print map icon. The print map icon will create a map with a title block and a legend of your current extent. When we first click on the print map icon, you'll be prompted to select your layout. The options currently for layout are 8.5 by 11 or 11 by 17. For this example, I will use 8.5 by 11. The current output format is PDF and by default that is the only option currently available. You will also be prompted uh, to select your map scale. Map scale by default is your current extent, which is one to almost 5,000. I can change that and select a default here, but I will leave it at the current scale. You will also be prompted for the main title of the map. By default, it's Matt Nuskis to sit in a burrow, but I can type in whatever title I want. My map. Once I'm done, I click print. It'll prepare my file and then click on Open File to view your new file. It opens up the extent we are viewing at with the title I typed in, an overview map, the legend, the scale, the north arrow, a disclaimer, and a scale bar. Close and close. The last enhancement you might have noticed is the dynamic scale bar now on the viewer. This adjusts as you zoom in and zoom out, giving you the scale you are currently viewing at. This is located at the bottom left of the viewer. Again, as I zoom in and zoom out, it will adjust, give you an accurate scale of what you are viewing at. That brings us to the end of this tutorial. Please see the following videos in the series going over the Search tab and the I Want To menu, as well as the Mapping tab and the Layer list. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Thank you.